Welcome to the 2022 Unity Beginners course. This is episode 17 and I will teach you more about commonly used Text Mesh Pro options, including the use of 3D text. There are quite a lot of options to play with Text Mesh Pro text. For font style, we have the basic bold, italic, unaligned, and strike through. Text Mesh Pro also comes with the handy lowercase uppercase and small caps options. We can set gradient colors for text as well. To do that, we have to enable the color gradient option. We can then select the gradient mode, which are vertical, horizontal, and four corners. Well, four corners gradients look quite weird, so I usually go for just a single color. Down here, we can set the spacing between characters, words, lines, and paragraphs. I reckon this feature is even more convenient than most text editors. The next thing I will talk about is the font asset. There are a few font assets provided by default, and we can create our own as well. Let's try it out. We need to use the font asset creator tool which can be accessed via Toolbar, Window, Text Mesh Pro. We need to feed a font file into this field. A font file can be downloaded from the internet, such as thefonts.com. Font files usually have a file extension of TTF or OTF. I will now drag this font file imported from the internet into this field. It is fine to keep these settings. For the character set, ASCII should be fine for most English language fonts. If you want to import fonts of different languages, such as traditional Chinese, you may want to change this option. Selecting custom characters allows us to directly insert the characters that we need. Let's go back to ASCII and hit the Generate Font Asset button. Save the generated asset, and we can now use our new font in Text Mesh Pro objects. In the past, fonts will be messed up if we use the same font asset for both UI and 3D text, but the issue appears to be fixed in the current versions. There are a few more options for font assets. We can define a face outline, and underlay colors of a font. Note, these options will affect all the tags with the same font asset. Another useful trick is in the project settings. Notice the Text Mesh Pro tab here. In the settings tab here, we can define the default configurations for text objects. Text objects created later will have these default configurations applied. I usually disable the enable raycast target and word wrapping options here before working on a design. Let's move on to 3D text. A 3D text behaves just like a UI text. We can edit the content and configurations of a 3D text the same way as a UI text. The only difference is that a 3D text does not need to be put inside a canvas. I have created a simple scene here with a sign. Let's put a 3D text onto it. To create a 3D text, right click on a hierarchy, 3D objects, text, Text Mesh Pro. Notice the text generated is bounded by a yellow rectangle. We can edit the dimensions of the text by directly dragging these white nodes on the rectangle. I will reduce the font size and fit the text onto the sign. These are some of the most useful tricks of using the Text Mesh Pro package. This is episode 17 of the 2022 Unity Beginners course. 
I am Yellow Flicker and I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.